what are these words for time periods and time lengths? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro, Kalina, we're going to talk about words that mean certain periods of time. And we're going to talk about this because a lot of them appear in aptitude tests, whether that be the civil service exam, OPCAT life, FILSAT, and all of these things. Kasi lumalabas, kadalasan dun sa mga word problems na... May mga period of time. And instead of units na familiar tayo with, like years or months, iba yung tawag sa kanila. At yun ang pag-usapan natin ngayon. Now, in order for me to explain this better, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. So, ito yung ating uh, second part ng discussion natin on words for uh, numbers. Uh, this time, we're going to talk about words for time periods. Uh, hindi na siya numbers per se, pero yung span of time ang pinag-uusapan natin. Okay? So, ito yung first natin, we have by new, and then yung ating equivalent yan ay two years. This is in the form of years. I think medyo uh, common naman na yung when we talk about weeks and uh, months, so hindi ko na i-discuss yun. Hindi tayo sa years na lang, number of years, yung mga terms na yun. Now, I want you to observe this. Ang by inium, you have by, which means two. Inium, di ba, yung millennium is 1,000 years. So, enium is a count when it comes to years. So, kung ba yinium, two years. Okay? That's a great way for you to gauge kung ano yung mga iba pang words na hindi ko makocover dito sa discussion na ito. Next, you have an Olympiad. Ang Olympiad ay four years. Now, a great way for you to remember this would be yung Olympics kasi ang Olympics happens every four years. Diba? Every four years, the entire world gathers to celebrate sports and to cheer on their athletes. Olympics, four years. Next is yung lustrum na tinatawag. Okay, ang lustrum at ang kanyang plural na lustra okay, or lustra I five years. So, it's more than four years. It's five years. Next is yung decade. Ang decade, I think all of you know that. Kaya dekada 70, dekada 80. Ang decade is 10 years. And uh, obvious na yan. Alam na natin yan lahat. We have an indiction. This is less common. Pero if you follow yung nangyayari sa Rome, yung mga succession usually for cardinals, popes, and stuff like that, dun usually ginagamit yan. It's a specific amount of time, which is 15 years. Inarrange ko siya ng increasing value para mas madali nyo ma-visualize kapag tinatry nyo siyang i-recall pag kayo ay nag-exam at na-encounter yung words na ito. Okay? So, yan ang indiction ay 15 years. Ang score... If you remember yung speech ni Lincoln, no? yung four score and seven years ago, ang score ay actually 20 years. So, ang pagsabing four score, ibig sabihin apat na 20, that is 80. Okay? Next is a, a century. Century, madali rin tandaan kasi cent. Ang cent is 100. So, ang century ay 100 years. And then we have the millennium, which is 1,000 years. Okay? Kaya, itong mga... Words na ito, ang susi talaga dyan is familiarity, knowing them, knowing that they exist, and remembering kung ano yung equivalent nila. So again, bayinium, olympiad, lustrum, or lustrum, decade, in the indiction, score, century, millennium. Yan yung mga words na gagamitin natin dito sa lesson na ito. Na ano yung pwedeng mag ng word problem that you can encounter in your aptitude exam? Maliban dun sa... For example, merong word problem na about number of years, tas sa options, ang mga ginagamit na mga words instead of years ay ganito, which is possible, na ka-encounter na ako ng ganong tanong. Kunyari, ang sagot ay 25 years, instead of saying na 25 years, ang ilalagay nila is a quarter of a century. Yung mga ganong klaseng mga scenario, uh, possibly yan sa exam. Another scenario would be for it to be incorporated in the question itself. So, for, for an example, ito. Sabi, company A has been around for eight indictions and an Olympiad. Company B has been there since four score and a lustrum ago. Company C has been in existence for a century and a biennium. Which company is the oldest? So, ibig sabihin, pinag-uusapan dito, pipiliin mo kung sino sa kanila pinakamatagal na nag-exist. Now, if you don't know 
the terms, you will have a bit of trouble here. Pero kung alam ninyo, it shouldn't be that big of a problem. In diction, sabi natin, are 15 years. Yung Olympiad, sabi natin, ito ay 4. Ang Lostrum ay 5 years. And then yung score is 20. Tapos yung Century is 100 years. And yung Bayinium ay 2 years. And now that we have those, we can start solving. Doon muna tayo sa company A. Ang company A daw ay 8 in diction. So, walong 15, kasi 15 years on. 8 na indictions is 8 times 15. Uh, ginawa ko lang doon. Dito yung technique ko sa multiplication. No? Dinescuss ko na ito in an older video. If you haven't seen that yet, lilink ko na lang din sa taas. Ang ginagawa ko kasi when I uh, compute something like that, lalo na kailangan ng mabilisan, I just put 80, which is, uh, ito ay uh, 8 times 10. And then I put half of that, which is 40, kasi yun ay 8 times 5. And then, i-add ko lang siya sa utak ko, 120. So, I do that instead of i-multiply ko pa lahat na 15 times 8. No? That's just what I do. So, 120 and an Olympiad. Ang Olympiad ay 4 years. So, ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin ang company ay, ay in existence siya for 124 years. Yung company B naman, ang sabi, ang kanyang lifespan ay 4 score and a last room ago. Ang 4 score ay 4 times 20, so that is 80, and then ang lustrum is 5. So, ibig sabihin nito ay 85. 85 lang siya. So, talo na siya nung company A. Next natin is company C. Ang company C natin ay nag-exist for a century. A century is 100 years, and a bayinium. Ang bayinium ay 2 years, so that is 102 years. So, anong mas malaki, 124 o 102? Ang sagot natin ay company A. So, company A ang pinakamatagal na na in existence. Okay? So, again, if you're familiar with the terms, it shouldn't be that big of a problem. Pero if first time nyo na na-encounter yung words na yun, baka magulat kayo. Lalo na in exams na hindi nila sasabihin ko ano yung ibig sabihin. Sometimes may context clues, pero minsan wala talaga. So, it's a good um, thing for you to know these. So, if you're ready, it's time for your quick quiz. Uh, I'm going to give you three questions right here and a few minutes to answer them. If you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now.
All right, let's see how you did. Let's start with the first one. Sabe, four decades is equal to how many by inya? Again, kung four decades, apat yan na sampo. This is 40. Ang by inya, sabi natin, or ito ay plural kasi ng by inium, that is two years. So, kung ilang two daw ang meron sa 40. So, all we have to do is to divide 40 by two. That would be 20. So, 20 by inya ang four decades. Okay? Next is yung three centuries and indictions. Ang three centuries, that is three times 100 or 300 years. Indictions, that are 15 years each. So, all we have to do is to divide 300 by 15. So, we have here 2. 30 siya. Wala na yan. So, bababa na natin yung 0. That is 20 indictions. Okay? So, again, very simple if you know what to do. Again, what I'm doing here is a bit of a uh, ano ba, faster process na. If you haven't seen yung akin series on converting units, uh, yun yung parang base nitong ginagawa ko. Uh, Ilalink ko na lang din sa taas. Okay? Next is a little bit tricky kasi tatlo yung mga terms na ginamit. We have one millennium. Tapos kailangan mo daw malaman kung ilang score siya at ilang lustra. So, let's start with the millennium. A millennium is 1,000 years. Ang score ay 20 years. So, ilang 20 meron sa isang libo. You have 5 here for 100. And then, makakancel na yan. Yung 0, ilalagay lang natin dito. So, 50. 50 na 20 ang meron sa isang millennium. So, you have 50 score. Ang lustra naman, you can do it this way. 1,000. Tapos, i-divide mo siya sa ilan ba ang isang lustrum. That is 5. Or, what you could do would be, di ba ang score kasi ay 20. Ang lustra ay 5. So, kung itutuusin, ang isang score ay 4 na lustra. Kasi 4 times 5 is 20. So, ako, kung nagmamadali ako lalo, gagawin ko na lang dyan. Yung 50, gagawin ko lang, ita times ko siya sa 4. Kasi 4 na lustra pa, about isang score. And then, I'll get to 200. Okay? So, and then, now I have the answer. Now, kung gusto ko siya, naman siya isolve, pwede rin naman. Pwede akong pumunta dito, divide ko lang siya. So, this is 2. Diba? Tapos 10. Again, 0, 0. 200 pa rin naman. Pareho lang din yung sagot. Okay? So, again, you have to get used to manipulating numbers, finding a way kung saan ka dadaan para makuha mo yung tamang sagot. And, of course, practice builds confidence. So, if uh, nakuha nyo itong lahat ng tama, that's great. I commend you. If hindi, that, there's another chance na bumawi. If you don't follow me yet, follow me at Like Amarivali on Instagram. I post quick quiz questions on my Instagram stories, lalo na pagpapalapit na yung exam. I would love for you to participate doon para makita natin how well you'll do. At para mag-age nyo rin kung kayo ay nag-i-improve. Uh, I hope makita ko yung inyong username doon sa mga listahan ng tumatama sa, sa ganong sagot. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure to share this video to your friends and ako mag-exam din sila. That way, mas marami tayong matulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I made or join the online and library events, you can go to my Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash for more information. For my personal content naman, uh, I'll just point you towards my other channel. I'll link it here. Di yung ating uh, Christian Drummer Girl na channel. You can find more information there about well, my life, my style, my lifestyle, and all of the things that happen behind the scenes. So if you want a more personal look into my life, want to get to know me a little bit more personally, you can go and check out that channel then. Alright, thanks guys for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe na. Marami pa pala tayong lessons. Sana hindi nyo yun mo miss. Alright, and as we always say dito sa team, never stop learning. Adja-adja, kaya nyan. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.